Hello everybody, welcome to another Quinn Mid gameplay. Yes, we are mid this game. We are auto filled. And I believe this game I promoted to plat 2. But this is 94 LP. Meaning the next game I played, aka the next game I'm gonna stitch together, is Plat 1. I promoted to Plat 1. Let's go, boys. We're this close. We're so close to fucking Diamond, and I'm so freaking excited. I'm so freaking excited, boys. I cannot contain how excited I am. Put on some damage, you know. Get some. She had a bone plating, quite nice. Now that I think about it, bone plating is quite good into Quinn Renders. You're all in, but you're an all in and Quinn. You most of the time, since you're in range, you poke them first to disable the bomb plate. But yeah, I've been thinking about stuff and from the way of things. Uh, against a trux phase rush works. I haven't uploaded that video yet, but I edited it a long time ago. But I try to upload every twice, every two days now. Once every two days. There you go. That's that's how you English. Thank you very much. So I'm just gonna. Leave the early game and the early game is quite important. I took some damage from Lulu, so I wanted to be full, full HP and have my presence known in the mid, mid lane. So from my experience, I got uh, filled in mid lane a couple of times. I, last time I got filled versus Anivia, which I went 19 and 3. So I'm thinking, yes, I didn't record nine. Uh, I didn't record the Anivia, and I don't feel like going to. In fact, I can show you guys real quick. Uh, so this is yes versus Anivia actually 14 and 4 never mind so yeah and the thing is didn't record okay she gets she hits her E which is good she gets a nice trade back and good for her it's a misstep on my end I wanted to get a one more auto and I think to proc electrocute and stuff like that so the reason I'm not uploading that one is very simple First of all, this is kind of like an update video. What are my thoughts of Quinn? How was she? How was she doing? I think her best room page is Electrocute Scorch. Heavy, heavy, heavy early game. And I've been trying to. Trying to theor theorize versus tanks because I played versus uh, Nashes. And it's just the phase rush felt lackluster. I'm, I don't like it. I, I think I'm really set on my ways about. PTA and uh, secondary resolve with the slow resist plus the Swifties boots. Now that being said, that means that you won't be able to once the tier one is down and there's ample space to run you down. If he runs goals, you cannot trade with him down there. She's like 25% HP. Now she leveled up. She's like 40% HP. We have uh, some HP, 200 HP lead over him. I almost killed him and he just gave me a free out attack, so I'm gonna take it. I think Quinn mid is quite nice as long as you're not uh, outranged. For example, uh, Zed, I feel like I will be doing quite nice against him because I'm just. Because... So it's really sad that my auto was cancelled. His, Her shroud just came up as my auto was going off and it just didn't go off. It is very unlucky. I was very, very sure that I was gonna kill her about that. I'll take it, my ignite is done, gone, my early person is gone, it's, it's sad. It happens, it's part of life, right? I'm going back to mid. Uh, I think this game is like 20 minutes or something like that because they FF early. I was too dominant in the mid lane. You guys gonna see, I'm gonna do some nice moves, nice running runs, nice clutches. It's, it's, I think overall my experience as a Quinn main, now it's starting to dial in after all these times. And I'm like... Maybe, I'm not sure. Yeah, I kind of flash early. And I barely survive. Make sure uh, cancel Akali and I survive with 20 HP. Like, I'm looking at Lilia making sure she doesn't go around Raptors and getting me off the second tier, you know? Just in case. <laughs> we sacrifice mid, but don't forget. Once you get Static Shift, the entire uh, map is yours. I think that's why Quinn is really, uh, really good mid lane compared to top lane. Is that 
in top lane, if your laner plays super safe and if, if you can't get a kill, what you can do is push face and roll, right? That's the idea. But with, uh, I mean, you can't push lanes in top lane. I mean, you can, but you can't roam, you can get a kill. Maybe you roam at uh, mid lane at most, so. I'm getting used to Scorch, by the way, not getting Tower Rag right anymore, which is nice. But with mid lane, once you get static, what you do is just perma roam and just make the bot laners and top laners uh, lives miserable. Uh, one thing about mid lane is you can get ganked from both sides, so that I need to get uh, used to. I'm not as good as uh, top lane. Look at this, a call is walking to bush lilies for sure, and I'm like, okay, thumbs up. Uh, you know, you're baiting nicely. I'm gonna take. I'm not gonna take the bait. I think I go up my R and I'm like, oh, Kerfus walking off. Lily is probably gonna gank top too, so let me just counter, right? But Lily apparently after mid lane she gave up. I call a recall, then I'm on the. I just started with the E. Um, for some reason, Kerfus top. I have no idea. I think if I get hit one more Q plus R, I would have died there. I think so. So what happens is that I, I don't have enough for R and Kha'Zix covers me. That's about it. I push one more wave, get my level... I, I was level 6, never mind. Just get my recall, get my static components. Nothing of important, you know. Just go mid. So yeah, the idea is that if your laner does not contest you on the wave and you have perma wave clear with static shift it means just you just perma roam and perma roam is perma map pressure perma map pressure means bot lane can't play and you can get jungler get invaded and all that stuff like that right counters and stuff like that it just tips the favor of the uh, number of people to your side right which in turn more damage more likely to do more like it win the score missions and all that stuff. Better ganks. Your bot lane doesn't go 0 and 5 because you babysit them. So that your top laner getting it's okay I, as long as I get. So I wish. So this is kind of me over here. I Q. I was going in. I, I was. I thought I was like. Look at this. I thought I was going behind it, but for some reason it go. It went that way. So. It's okay. It happens. You mess it up. It's one for one Lilia. Cause it gets, cause it gets Lilia, which is fine. It's quite nice. Good for him. It's, it's just, you know, the stuff. You just. Khalid tries to R. I'm like on the wave. Kha'Zix pushes his, pushes my way for some reason. I wish he doesn't. He, he goes for a rift. I wanted to get off that Khalid because he was real low. But hey, now here's the one thing, yeah, I don't get the plates, I don't, should've walked up, I should've because Lily used R last time, right, but my brain, it's it's my fault, it's just, we just leave it at that, but even then, I don't need much advantages, I'm gonna have map pressure anyways, top is winning, but is, I think, equal, I'm not sure, but I don't really care, I'm gonna, carry this game anyways. I got my static shift, I get my perma roams. He's super low, but I don't care. I'd rather go with a tempo than try to get a kill on her. Which possibility I might counter. Yeah, if she sees me walk up, she's gonna walk back. I don't have boots. Does she have boots? I don't know, but she's gonna back off. There's no point. So static shift. Wave clear comes in very handy. Look at that beautiful wave clear man. Mm. So hot. <laughs> uh, we get our wave clear. Pretty good stuff. I quite like it. The attack speed, quite nice with lethality. And you guys are gonna say, why are you using Eclipse? If you guys did not see on the tab, I'm using Eclipse. I should have got the plate. But I did not. And I'm like, it's okay. Plate barely survives, so it was. Yeah, look at that. 1003. Oof. That is so lucky. That is so lucky. It's okay. If the plate was gone, essentially what we do is that we sacrifice the plate 
for the sake of this mid, uh, I mean bot skirmish, which we clearly win. This is where the strength of Quinn, right? We we counter the jungle. It's basically three versus four, and it's just a call is coming after you. Don't forget, I'm, I'm really low mana. I might be die, so I'm like very cautious about the Kali R and all in and stuff like that. So I'm scared, but as soon as I see a Kali, the warder bot. Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah, as soon as I see it, I'm like, okay, I relax a bit. I'm like, okay, she's not coming uh, mid. Let me just push one more wave and reset, get the plate. Thousand and three. Don't forget, every thousand you get a plate. There's five plates in total. Four hundred for the tower, especially with the first blood. So you're looking at uh, 165 times five, 530, 25, five, uh, 750 something. Thousand, thousand and hundred? I think so, something like that. Thousand and hundred and twenty-five or something like that. It's just rough math. I might be wrong. I don't care. <laughs> just all I'm saying is it's just high value. We don't need to exact value. You just need to know that it's high value. <laughs> now, giving that, Kha'Zix took two plates and stuff like that, but hey. Okay, I take my reset. I get my boots. I'm super slow, and I'm going on eclipse. Why do I like eclipse? Eclipse just that got the penetration passive, and I did some testing on on dust layer. Uh, on the test dummies and stuff like that. I'm like, W raise the Lilias. Okay, Lilias top. Like, okay, let me just save the save the choga. We just see what's going on. Get the kill, make sure Choders doesn't die to Lilia. Counter the Lilia gang beautifully. He survives. So back to Eclipse. So why do I. I this is me checking if I was recording, making sure because. I <laughs> why Eclipse? Eclipse just the penetration passive does just. It's it's infinite. You basically do true damage, right? That's the idea. Or they have so little armor. So that you you basically do true damage. It also it it uh it's super nice with electric units like two procs you get elect, uh, eclipse and three procs you get electric units. It's just insane. Plus you get a shield. It's better for trading. It's better for laning. The penetration passive scales super super nicely. It's usually eclipse and duskblade comparison. Then you get uh, eclipse proc. Does two percent max HP of the enemy, plus a shield, plus uh, penetration, and all that stuff like that, right? So on autos, you have less lethality. You have twelve lethality compared to eighteen lethality, but the max percent damage makes up for it. Plus the passive when you scale it later in two games. Basically, first item does make the little more damage, a hundred or something like that. Second item, uh, eclipse caught up. Third item. Eclipse outperformed Duskblade. Fourth item, same thing. Fifth item, e Eclipse is far, far superior. So two items, Eclipse better. One item, Duskblade better. Uh, that's my uh, thinking. That's my results. I'm not gonna show the results. It's just that's what I do. Like uh, that's what I like. If you like, if you like Duskblade, go for Duskblade. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not saying build this. What I'm saying is that I like that one. So I'm going with that. I'm like letting Ezreal have it. Nope, he's not having it. Okay, let me take the cannon. Then. He says some stuff. Akali used R. It is very nice. I'm going over. Twitch kind of moves up a little too far. Doesn't know that I'm coming. I have a nice flank. So Lulu gets caught up by Choga by teleporting from the red buff. Enemy red buff. I just get my assist. Assist, assist, assist. I can't speak sometimes, damn man. I get my assist. Got my eclipse. My score did 344. My LTQ did 825. My uh, sudden impact did 290. It's just great value. Like, I'm level 11 and I got like 1500 HP value, right? 825, 300, that is 11, that is plus the sudden impact. You're looking at 
1300. The, I already killed someone with my uh, runes, so absolute focus, eyeball collection, and treasure hunter is just. I, I in my opinion, just electric Quinn is far superior to, to PTA Quinn. It's just the way Quinn trades and all that jazz, and I think mid lane is superior to top lane, but don't forget this is me playing three mid ga mid, uh, mid games because I got out for a couple of times right so it is not absolute there's no data backing it up it's just for some reason mid lane melee is way easier to play against compared to top lane melees because I played versus Anasus and he just went random uh, not random I forgot the thousand item component. Let me just look it up real quick. Uh, there's nothing going on in the back side, so let me just. Why not? Armor. This thing. Warden's Mail. He just went on Warden's Mail and my damage was useless. That's why I don't like Phase Rush. Even though it's better. Uh, Later game, the early game you really need to snowball versus Nasus because I feel like the reason we lost the oh, yeah. why am I talking here? So what's going on? Okay, <laughs> should have shut up and just I forgot that I'll play Twitch. So I'm like I see Lulu right? Lulu is here. Twitch must be here. So here he is, blind him, I'm half HP, but I'm so fed, so destroyed him, right? I got my heavier, I'm out. So, yeah, I'm thinking Bork, Bork Ginsu, LDR, and that might be it, but from the way of things, when we, when we're even, Nasus gets stacks and not uh, hardcore bullied. He gets two tanky with Holebreaker plus Ren, uh, Warden's Mail, right? Plus Frozen Heart. They usually rush Frozen Heart. And you're pretty useless. So I'm still trying to figure out a way to outscale Nasus. If not, I'm, I will just go all out in early game and try to cheese him, get an early kill, instead of playing it fair, right? Kha'Zix kind of gets destroyed by Akali. Poor dude. But she's not gonna contest, I'm too fed. She also used R, so she doesn't have kill pressure. I'm like, take the, take the! <laughs> nope, they're not. So, what I'm thinking is Twitch is in this. So I better back off. I'm gonna get into the bush and wait around. Lily is one of five. She ganked uh, mid a couple of times. She failed, and they surrender. So I show you guys this is me hitting plat two at 94. Oh yeah, I <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. I think this is me going back in, and this is like oh platinum two 97. Woo. Um, is this it? I don't want to spoil anything, but this is me hitting. Yeah, platinum one. There you go. I had platinum one. We're so close, boys. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. And um, on the way of things, it's just the tanks kind of against tanks. We can't do shit, and it's just annoying the fuck out of me, man. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. And the tanks, Udiers, and stuff like that, and they just destroy you. Anyways, I'll leave it at that. I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you guys until next time. Hopefully, the next video I, I will have is when I promote Diamond One. I mean, Diamond One, <laughs> Diamond Four, when I promote Diamond Four. Hopefully, and I hope I'll see you guys next time. See you guys later. Peace out. Bye.